Welcome back to Tony's Cool Tools. Thanks for stopping by. For those of you following my channel, you know I've done several videos on the lack of storage on tractors. And on today's video, I'm going to show you the ultimate tool carrier for both subcompact and compact tractors. A number of people go out and buy expensive UTVs. But what if you could carry a tool shed worth of equipment in the back of your tractor? Would you be interested? And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a company called the Big Tool Rack. Some of you are familiar with it. And in full disclosure, I am not being paid to do this, nor am I sponsored by the Big Tool Rack company. Tim, the president and inventor of the Big Tool Rack, reached out and asked me if I could do a review on the Ultimate Tool Rack. I was fortunate to interview Tim, and what an interesting and inspirational kind of guy he is, especially from a business aspect. Many of you have heard the saying, necessity is the mother of invention. Well, in Tim's case, it was frustration was the motivating factor. And let me explain. Tim was working on his property and had his tractor and was spot seeding throughout the property. So naturally, in his loader bucket, he had straw, topsoil, seeds, rakes, and additional tools. And every time he moved to a different area, he forgot something in the other one because there was no room. So he got frustrated about not being able to have storage on his tractor. So that was the start of the big tool rack. Tim went into his garage and built a wooden prototype of the big tool rack. And it was pretty cool, he thought. And his family thought the same thing. Well, after a while, Tim went and asked a couple of his close friends about their opinion on his wooden invention or the big tool rack. And ironically, they were so impressed with his idea and concept that they not only liked the idea, they went ahead and invested in his company. One thing they all agreed on is that it was a great idea, but they really needed a design team to really fine tune it. And that's what they did. They went out and found a design company and they refined it to what you know as the big tool rack now. Tim's company, the big tool rack, is celebrating its 10th anniversary in business. And not only are they successful in the US, there's six countries that they distribute and have dealers in. That's pretty impressive if you ask me, especially taking a wooden mock-up and then seeing what you have today. And you gotta love their motto, haul more, carry more, get more stuff done. So whether you have one acre or a hundred acres, you can now bring all the tools you need with you at one time, no more trips going back and forth to the pole barn or garage. So this is how I received my big tool rack and the quick hitch. It comes in two different boxes. And I opted to go pick it up at the trucking company. It was much easier for me than waiting for them to deliver it to me. And not only is the big tool rack designed extremely well, the container that it comes in had a lot of thought in it so it doesn't get damaged by the time it gets to you. Let me show you. Check this custom crate out. It's built like a tank. Well, let's start the big tool rack system with the category one quick hitch. A couple of parts here, some bushings, looks like a yoke, and that's the whole system. I'm pretty excited about finally getting a quick hitch. Never had one, I did everything inside my pole barn on the concrete, and that's super easy as well, especially if you have dollies and, and you move all your attachments with them. But this is gonna be even much easier. And as far as the installation, though you can muscle it yourself, I chose to go ahead with a milk crate and a piece of plywood here to bring it to the right height. And while I'm filming, I can show you what I'm doing. I've already installed one side there, but all you do is you take these brackets and you clip them onto your link arms. Let me show you. So all you do is you align your link arm here, put the bushing in, take your pin, find the right hole here, and you're through. And as far as your top link, all you do is position it 
put it in the hole, lock it in, and you're ready to go. The latches work here on both sides. And if you're wondering what this is, it's an additional accessory to make your attaching easier on items like your brush hog or some of those items that are extremely difficult to hitch up. And later on, I'll show you how to attach these quick hitch bushings onto the big tool rack. Let's go ahead and uncrate this. I'm pretty excited to see what's inside. And the quick hitch even makes a great tool holder. So here we go, the unveiling. Wow, it looks like a puzzle in here. And naturally, before I go any further, got to read the instructions, so I'll be back. And yes, Chris in the wood yard, I am reading the instructions instead of throwing them away. And here's another company that packages their products so well so it doesn't get scratched or damaged before you see it. And check this out, a surprise inside. Not only do I get a hat, but I also get several gifts from Tim, the president of Big Tool Rack. Nice license plate holder. Keychain, very nice pen. And a letter welcoming me to the Big Tool Rack family. Pretty cool. There's only two boxes that come with it. Here's what's inside the first one. Box number one hardware and number two. And here's the content of box number two. And though we'll discuss this a little bit later, this is an option that you can purchase and that's the five in one tool rack. That's their number one selling accessory for the big tool rack. And I'll explain why. And here's the last of the parts that were inside the crate. A frame part, the bed of the big tool rack, Casters. Now check out these casters. These are unbelievable industrial grade. They even have a Zerk fitting right there. The big tool rack does come 85% complete and there are only a few things that you have to assemble. Now I put the frame on the uh, sawhorses here and we came inside because it looked like it was going to start raining. We may go back inside if the cloud goes over and we don't get any rain. But here we go. We just use the riser here, slip it over, and make sure that this angled bracket is facing towards the back. Put it up here, put the pin in. We're through there. Install the category one pin here. And if you're lucky enough to have the 40 pound suitcase weights, you can put the counterweight bracket on here. It's recommended, there's three holes here. It's recommended to use the bottom two. So we'll just stick that in. If I could find the hole, I'd be good. There we go. Whoop. Let's put that up a little bit more. And now all we do is put the drawbar pins in, right over here and over here. Put the nuts on and lock washers and we're ready to go to the next step. So earlier when I showed you the big tool rack quick hitch, I told you I would tell you more about these bushings. And they go on the draw pins here, like this, with this fat part facing out. And there are two different hole options here. And you can either bring it out or bring it in depending on which hole you use. I'm gonna use the furthest one to the outside. And one thing to remember, this pin, this drift pin that comes with it, as you can see, there's a bevel on the tip of that. You wanna make sure that that's the bevel that you put in first when you drive it in and it squishes and pushes through the hole. I had some help putting the bed of the big tool rack on and all, all I got to do now is put in these four 20 millimeter screws right or bolts I should say in here and tighten it up. And the next step is super easy. Just install the ribbed frames here on both sides.
Next, we'll install the two cross braces on either side and then put the cross brace bar on top and fasten it all up. Align the tailgate brackets here like this with the tab facing inward here. And that's it. Now we just tighten it all up. And for the six remaining frame bolts, here, 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 and on the other side the same thing. And now we're ready to tighten it all up. Now all we do is install the legs with the casters with the hitch pins. Just install it there. And this one is in the drive mode. If I set it all the way down, I could then unhook the uh, quick hitch here and roll it into my pole barn. So now that we finished with the body of the big tool rack, we're gonna accessorize it with all the shelving units and all the other cool, neat stuff. Let me show you. First, we're gonna start with the shelving units on the side, both left and right. And they only snap right in, and a bolt will go in afterwards. So we'll do the left side first, and next the right side. That's it. Now we're gonna install the small tool bin in the back here, both on the left and the right side. And now we'll install the long tool handle rack in the back here, both left and right sides. And I'll be installing four of the UDDH, or the Universal Drop-Down Holders. They just flip out here and here as well. And we'll explain that a little later. And one of the last standard things I'm installing is the GTC, or the Garden Trimmer Combo. And it goes right here on both sides. And I'll show you how that works just a little later. Now that we've gone through the installation, let's do a 360 on the big tool rack. Now there's ultimate kits that you could buy, and I happen to get the ultimate combo, which comes with the quick hitch and the big tool rack. Now, I never knew what I was missing until I got this now and was using it, and it's pretty cool. I am gonna have to convert some of my other attachments that are hard to put on to be quick hitch compatible. And though we're covering the three-point quick hitch, Tim does have a new one out that is front mounted. So if you have a skid steer or if you have a backhoe and you can't take it off easily, you can attach it to your front as long as you have a skid steer quick attach. But I do want to point out and make clear, you do not need a quick hitch to use the big tool rack. You can just use your draw pins on your three point and it'll work perfectly fine. So don't think you have to get the quick hitch if you wanna get a big tool rack. So the first thing I wanted to mention in our 360 review here is the fit and the finish. I was so impressed with the powder coating and the paint on this and the welds here as you can see. Everything is first class on this piece of equipment. And the ultimate tool rack does weigh 300 pounds, so that's awesome for ballast. But if you need more, this, this bar right over here is for suitcase weights, the 40 pound variety. So you could put six of them back here and gain another 240 pounds. So when you're looking at it, you've got a little over 500 pounds right there. In addition, back here you have the storage trays. And up here, you have the long handle tool holders. Four on each side. And as I mentioned previously, though I have the quick attach bushings on here, you can take those off or you don't need them if you're just going to use your tractor with the drawbar. Okay, now with the sides, we're gonna start at the bottom. You have retractable legs, four retractable legs with heavy duty casters and two grease points on them. And you do have a tray, the larger tray, which is six and a half by 19. And it will hold my premix and my bar oil extremely easily and still have room here for some accessories.
And on this side, you get three GTCs, or grass tool carriers. And what's so cool about this is that you can use multiple handle configurations on it. Let me explain. They do have this bungee or this hold down device. And you can either put it in the top or the bottom. And the difference here is it's hard to tell on video, but at the bottom, you wanna use your small, thin handled, and on the top, you want to use your large ones. Let me show you. Here's a thin rake that I love using and it fits right inside, it's oval shaped. All I do is snap the rubber on here, carry it over, and it holds it in place perfectly. Now if I have a large tool which won't fit in my vertical tubes here or my long pole, uh, long handle tool carrier here in the back. Let me show you the difference here now when I go with a thicker type of tool. And I love my Fiskars oval aluminum spade or shovels, but they're hard to transport. And I can put it upside down it also is oval, but now I move this to the top one and pull it over. And it holds the tool in place, no movement. So I can do axes, I can do any kind of handled tools right over here. In the wood yard, you always get a lot of debris and this manure fork here is awesome, but it's hard to carry. So it also just fits inside here on the top one. Snap that in and it holds it in place. And here on the front is two GTCs or grass trimmer combos. Let me show you why they're so important. These are mounted vertically here. Let me show you. This is my Fiskar power pruner and it's round handled but it fits in here. I could put it on the side, but I can also put it on the end here like that and it will hold it perfectly. And these are hard to transport, whether it's a pickup truck, your UTV or any other device. These are difficult, but you can either do the power stroke or you can mount any manual pole pruner like this. And it's ready to go out of the way, easy to transport, and you're safe. Now here's the ultimate one, and that is the gas-powered trimmer. It is extremely difficult to transport. And with this, it fits right in the cradle. And I can put this on, stretch it out here, and that's not going anywhere. And now I'm safe to transport it. So if you thought the GTC was cool, wait until I show you the UDDH, and that's the universal drop-down holder. Way cool. Let me show you what it can do. And the big tool rack has four of the universal drop-down holders, two in the front and one on each side. So now you can transport building material, fencing, anything that you want, you can hook on here or if you have ropes of some kind or anything that you just wanna hang on, these are perfect for them. Let me show you another application. If you need a ladder for any application, like putting up tree stands or cleaning your gutters or anything like that, I use my telescoping ladder here and yes, I could probably put it inside as well, but I can hang it or I can use a traditional ladder and the only limitation that I have is the width of my path. I can either do a six, eight, 10, 14 foot ladder if I choose to, as long as I have room on the side when I'm traveling with the tractor. Now, as I mentioned before, the bed of the trailer and this whole frame is made out of 10 gauge steel, very robust. And these latches here that hold the door open, hold it down. And this gate is rated for 250 pounds. And to prove my point on how tough this gate is, here's six 40 pound bags of solar salt and two gallons of oil. So I'm exceeding the 250 pounds for the gate. But as you can see, no issues whatsoever, no bending whatsoever there. And though I don't know why you'd want to, this tailgate is removable by the spring in the corner there. 
and just removing the bolts here so that you can take this off and have free space. And lastly, it does come with this bed liner right here to protect it from scratching and denting. And I almost forgot one of the most important features of the big tool rack, the two inch receiver here for towing stuff like your splitter or utility trailer or anything that has a ball hitch. Just put the pin in and I'm ready to go. Now we've gone over all the standard accessories on the big tool rack. The only thing that does not come with it is this five in one. And ironically, it's their most popular accessory. And the reason is, it holds a chainsaw. And I know I've shown several different chainsaw holders for your tractor. This one is specific for the big tool rack. And it also holds four long handle tools at the same time. And it also has this plastic protective piece down here that stops the dogs from digging into the metal. So that's one nice feature too. And as you can see, there's multiple different cutouts in here, these little triangle cutouts on each side. And the purpose for that is, if you want to use a carabiner like this, you can just hook it on there. Or if you have multiple things that you want to hang, you can hang it from either side using these carabiners. Just additional space for you to put stuff on. Talk about the ultimate tool rack. And once you've got it in your pole barn or garage, you won't believe how easily this rolls with those heavy duty greasable casters. Check it out. That's 300 pounds I'm moving. And Tim, not to worry, this expensive crate won't find its way to the landfill. My wife asked me what I was gonna do with it. And I said, I wasn't sure yet. She says, why don't you put it in the garage and put kindling and firewood in it so I don't have to keep cleaning up the mess that I make, that I make when I put it in there. I said, let me think about it. It's a good idea, but don't tell her I told you that. So before I show you the ultimate wood yard configuration for the big tool rack, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you. For those of you who are very fashion conscious, this does come in five colors. And yes, it does come in green. So we're looking at green, orange, yellow, gray, and red. So you should be able to find a color that matches whatever you have or be close to it. Let me take you for a closer look at the ultimate tool rack for the wood yard. As you can see, we have loppers right here. We have our Fiskars Power Stroke loppers right there. We have one chainsaw here, bar oil and gas. Naturally, our first aid kit comes first. We have our AccuMark. We have our bucket of accessories with wedges, chains, straps, and tree savers. We have our log right cant hook here, our helmet, a number of different rakes because we have to clean up the mess that we make. And inside, we've got plenty of additional saws, the jaw logs, our pants or our chaps, another bucket with accessories that we need, and on this side, we have our pole saw. And on the opposite side here, we have our manure rake, our picaroon, our X27, some additional rope if we need it. And naturally, the Log Ox 4-in-1 has to be in everyone's toolbox for sure. And by dropping down the tailgate, I can attach my sharpening jig right here to the tailgate with a couple of quick grips. And next thing you know, I can sharpen my chainsaws in the field without having to bend down or change the uh, chain out in the field. I can do it all right here, very easy and comfortably. And I am missing one important thing. Let me go get it. Since we cut the wood, we have to have a way of bringing it in. So with the big tool rack, we have the two inch receiver and now we hooked up our polar utility cart and we could bring back a half a cord of wood easily with no problem at all, including all the tools that we have.
Now, naturally, I'm not going to hook up my NNN dump trailer on the back of the big tool rack, but I can take my heavy duty utility trailer here and load a bunch of brush that isn't going to weigh that much, but it'll save me a lot of time and trips back and forth to where I'm working. So this is another thing that I could use the big tool rack and the, uh, the trailer hitch at the bottom of it. Now, one last thing I wanted to show you about the two inch receiver that you have here. You can get additional space. Let me show you how. Yep, you guessed it, a hitch haul. Just attach a hitch haul to your two inch receiver. Now you've got additional space. Now I'm not gonna jam pack this thing, but if you have bulky items, just another place to store them. So this is only one configuration of the big tool rack. There's many others depending on your hobbies and your likes, such as gardening or construction. You can fill this thing up with a whole tool shed full of equipment and not have to come back. Tim was nice enough to share a video with me of him and his daughter being interviewed on Good Morning America. It was for Christmas and it was US companies that manufacture here and sell great products. And he was one of them. I'll share that video in the info section below. Take a look at it, it's pretty inspiring. And my wife happened to catch that video while I was watching it and said, man, we could really fill that up with garden stuff. Hay and dirt and pots and potting soil and everything. And I'm like, whoa, wait a second, this is for the wood yard first. But I think that's gonna change real quickly, I'll tell you that much. So let me show you how easy it is with the quick hitch, how to attach and detach. That's it. Just lock these up and we're ready to go. So at the end of the day, I still want to keep all my tools on the big tool rack. Here's all I have to do. Flip the two levers up, back it into the pole barn. Lower the big tool rack. And now I can just push everything inside and store it. That's how easy it is. Well, I hope you have a better understanding of the Ultimate Tool Rack. It is a quality piece of equipment. I'll have the information on where to contact them in the info section below, but it's just bigtoolrack.com. And they're also offering free shipping and a 10% discount if you go to their website. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And give me a thumbs up as well. And I want to wish everyone a happy and safe 4th of July. And remember, pass it forward. Make the world a better place. And don't be a tool. Watch Tony's Cool Tools. Until I see you next time, have a great day.